Hi, I'm Seth Goldman, founder and CEO of Eat the Change and delighted to be on the Produce Moms podcast. You're welcoming to the show today, Seth Goldman. He is really an activist entrepreneur is how I would describe him. Uh, he has changed the way that I understand fair trade. I had the opportunity to be in the audience when Seth was a keynote speaker. It was in February of 2016 in the Pacific Northwest at a pretty intimate event that Seth and I were able to kind of recount uh, before we went live today on the show. But oh my goodness, I must say if there is one person that I could um, kind of credit for teaching me the importance of responsible sourcing and truly what the concept of fair trade means and how that changes the world. That person is Seth Goldman. I was a young pup in that audience and I was soaking it in. And it really, um, you know, hearing that in 2016, for those of you that, that follow TPM closely, you know that the Produce Moms, we just celebrated seven years of, of business. And uh, recently, we also announced our B Corp certification. So for me to hear that really at the very early stages of my entrepreneurial journey um, and to hear from Seth, someone who's truly changed the world and made it a better place, um, you'll hear, you know, once we get him on the show and you get to hear more about his story, you'll understand how um, hopefully even just the 30 minutes that you're going to spend with us today on this podcast, it's going to change your life. And it most definitely changed the trajectory of the produce moms to hear from Seth. So Seth, welcome to the show. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you, Laurie. What a thrill to be with you. And congratulations on seven years in business and your B Corp certification. That's just wonderful. Oh, thank you, Seth. Yeah, it's a uh... Uh, you know, I, I was actually uh, reading up on the challenger mindset. That's something that I really uh, remind myself of every morning as a bootstrapping entrepreneur. And so imagine the smile on my face when I got on Twitter today and saw that you too are inspired by that challenger mindset. And I do think it, you know, thinking like the challenger, operating like the challenger, it's, uh, it's part of the sauce of uh, success. But Certainly in the world of agriculture, so is all of the impact that you have built your entire journey upon. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and to me, the challenger mindset is critical if you're looking to disrupt the way things are. And I'm, I'm one who believes we need to change the way um, so much of our food system is set up. And so you have to have that kind of mindset to, to, to be able to, to make traction. So let's talk about the journey. Um, you know, when I, when I met you and the, the story that changed my life was listening to you tell the story of making honest tea in like five gallon pitchers in your home kitchen and then taking those big pitchers and sampling them out at Whole Foods and doing some regional sampling, which turned into regional self shelf placement, which turned into Coca-Cola acquiring you. And then, oh my goodness, Memorial Day 2022, what happened? Trust the journey, trust the process, and please tell your story. Introduce yourself. Sure. Well, as you said, I we started Honest Tea out of my house, <laughs> brewing tea in my kitchen, and managed to get into Whole Foods and grow uh, in a very entrepreneurial way. You know, literally bottle by bottle, we sold and became the best-selling tea in the natural foods industry. And then we started to expand into mainstream channels. And, and as you know, in um, 2011, we sold to Coca-Cola, who expanded the brand further. And we got into national chains like with our other products, not just tea, but with our Honest Kids line. And we got into Wendy's and Subway and McDonald's and Chick-fil-A uh, and all kinds of other places where we really were expanding access to organic drinks, which was wonderful. Uh, and then um, I uh, finished my time with the company in 2019 and started getting involved in new enterprises. Uh, I had already become chair of the board of Beyond Meats, uh, which plant-based meat company, and, and uh, also helped co-found a restaurant chain called Plant Burger, which is a plant-based burger chain. Uh, and then I decided I wanted to get involved in planet-friendly snacks, really helping uh, people realize that how do we make food and how do we eat food that is better for the planet? And so the inspiration for the whole brand came from, um, it was actually my son, who's the head of marketing at Plant Burger. And he came up with this phrase, eat the change you wish to see in the world, which for me was a perfect call to action because you've heard the phrase, be the change, which means, you know, what the, if you want to change things, change how you behave. And with eat the change, if you're concerned about climate change, which uh, so many of us are, you got to re rethink what you um, what you eat, and so we and let's make some foods that make that help people make that choice. So 
our first product line was a line of mushroom jerky. And then we brought out a line of carrot snacks uh, for kids, which has been called, uh, which is wonderful. It's called uh, Cosmic Carrot Chews. And then um, we were busy selling those products and we got a, I got a um, text message over the weekend in May of uh, this year from somebody at Coca-Cola who said, you know, would you have time to speak to some senior folks at Coca-Cola about an important business matter, which I couldn't imagine what that was because I, I didn't have any direct business with Coca-Cola at the time, but I got on the phone with them that, that, that Monday and they informed me that, well, Honest Kids was going to continue to grow and be part of the Coke portfolio. They were going to discontinue Honest Tea. And that was a huge blow for, for me and all the people, um, literally hundreds of, if not thousands of people who helped build Honest Tea over those 22 years that we grew it. Uh, and so I'd say the first few uh, days were just, you know, shock and a little bit of mourning of feeling of loss. And then it quickly pivoted <clears throat> into action. And um, my team and I decided we were going to launch into the iced tea business again. And so um, I got together my, the supply chain, all, all the folks in the supply chain, I'd continue to stay in touch with. They were all, you know, actually very good friends of mine because we worked so well together for those decades. And uh, a lot of the employees who are on Eat the Change used to work at Honesty, so they knew exactly what to do. Uh, and my co-founder, Barry, from Honesty, joined. And so we created a brand called Just Ice Tea. And uh, we're, we're launching it nationally in, in uh, two national chains. And, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing it grow around the country. 